Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we asked him if he's still buddies with Ian Salmerhalder. My name is McNeil. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with Tim Svoya and Darren McRoy. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey, Hey, all. What's happening, everyone? Not much. So we're going to be talking to Tim, find out what's going on there. They did have a, uh, a time where they were buddies texting and stuff like that. We'll see if it's still going on. We don't know. We'll see. I'm sure Tim's trying to keep it going, but we'll see if uh, his love is uh, being responded to. We'll uh, get to that after the break for right now. Darren says there's something he wants to talk about. What is that, sir? So I uh, read this one on the internet. So if it's a bad one, okay. it's not my fault. Uh, so what TV show or movie has the hottest cask? cast? Cask. <laughs> I actually, in my notes, I wrote cask because I'm a fucking oh. idiot. Okay. Okay. The hottest cast. What Reese movie? Company. The movie? Was there a movie? No, oh, I thought you said show or I'm thinking of the you know, Three's Company. God, that was a great cast. Oh. Great cast. It was a great cast. <laughs> no. Um, Is it can it be a TV show? It's a movie, right? Yeah, it's a movie. Uh, I was movie. gonna say TV show, so either one works. Well then it's Charlie's Angels. That's the answer. Fair oh, Fawcett, man. please. God, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one to beat. Jiggle TV, as they used to call it. Yes. Yes. It's good. It was good. But yeah. there, there's not as many seasons of that, so there's quite a few seasons. Yeah, not there's not like my answer. Like button. Yeah, yeah. He Slow says button. we can say it, and then yeah, he says we can say it. Then when we say it, he's like, no, you you can't answer. Change the fucking rules. I just think my answer is better. But yeah, okay. Well, we'll see what your answer is. We'll get to that. In a so it's, the answer is Charlie's Angels. But uh, McNeil, what do you think? The hottest cast on a TV show? Man, like a. I don't know. Is it hee-haw? Hee-haw? Yeah, I know you're into yeah. country and stuff. Yeah, I, I feel like that the... came out when I was show? like two. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, so a show that I been re binge watched a couple of months ago was Shameless. And they're all very trashy, but they're all very attractive people. Especially yeah. the man that plays Kev. What is no. his name? Something no. is his name. Fiona. Back when Fiona would do the, Fiona. the nude scenes. Yeah, when she quit doing Fiona the nude scenes, all of a sudden she gets yeah. written off the show. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, ah, we don't really need you. Yeah. She yeah. chose to do other things. V V is very hot too as a female cast member. V and Kev, like oh V, yeah, that, she's that good. V, V's stuff. hot, but uh, yeah. Fiona, do you you see that uh, the chef out of New York that looks like Fiona, and she has the the videos where she cooks stuff. She always gives you the finger and stuff, and it's like cuts, yeah. quick cuts and stuff. Oh man, that's, I, I like her. I like her. Um, also, also Mad Men, um, yeah, no. Mad Men. For sure. No, uh, uh, are they you all, all a bunch of good-looking people? You have nah, Christina she's ugly. Hendricks and Johnny. Christina Hendricks is not ugly. Oh yeah, she is. No, you can cut her face out, Steve. She's doing just fine. Uh, and you got uh, the one with the lollipop head on there too. I don't know. No, I don't. She's that, so beautiful. That's an ugly cast. John <laughs> Ham. John Ham uh, is one person. One person doesn't make a cast. No, but. and John Slattery. That's like a silver. Who's box. John Slattery? I don't. Oh, he, no, he's no. No, he was terrible. No, no. Roger had it going on. I didn't like that show. <laughs> I freaking love that. Never Mad watched Men. it. 
I oh, love it's, that. It's dumb. It's dumb. Well, it's, it's, so it's a bad, bad show. If I could retake my my answer here. I think Baywatch is up there. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Hey, watch. Okay. Yeah, yeah, also, is there an actually a plot, or is it just yeah, it's it's just a TV 2.0? But I yeah. would say for for our fellow Gen X fans out there, the cast of Cruel Intentions was oh. legit. Yeah, Ryan. Oh. I don't even know that show. I don't yeah. either. That Never was a it. Gen X cult film. That's uh, Sarah Michelle yep. Gellar. Uh, the whole group of of nineties. Uh, yeah, Lippy Witherspoon was in it. Yeah, oh, that's the like post Brat Pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels wins. Darren, you said you, you got the best one. Yeah. Let's see what Darren says. So I don't think anyone's going to agree with me because I don't think anyone's seen the show now. I'm thinking about it before I say it out loud, but someone will agree with me online. You watch when this comes out. Someone will agree okay. with me. That okay. Every single person that was on the show of Supernatural was nine out of tens. Does not matter. Their yeah. They were they yeah. were all very. Yeah, I never heard of people. it. I don't know. You didn't watch Supernatural was so good. You yeah. had Dean Winchester. He's oh, a hot Dean guy. Winchester. Dean Winchester. Jensen Apples. Oh, Jensen Apples. Yeah, oh, yeah. Jensen Apples. Yeah, Jensen yeah. Apples is Got good. That. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's that's excellent. Yeah. Uh, Bonnie D- uh, Dutuccio. Yeah, that that was. Nine, nine out of ten easily, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yours was good, Darren. Super nice. Wiggly Bridge, Wiggly Bridge, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah. So the online answer I saw, well, let's get everyone's opinions on this first. And I think I know Steve. Wonder Woman? Friends. Vampire Diaries? Oh, Friends. Uh, no. 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 Friends no. Are such a, no, God, no. No, you had oh, Jennifer Kristen. That was like the highest. Yeah. We were shit yeah. after the first season. Yeah. They all look bad. After the yeah. first season sucked. It got worse after that. That show, that show is beloved, and it's actually horrible. Like that is that. a horrible fucking show. <laughs> that, the that right show. answer to that one would be Melrose Place, and that was the real friends of what it should have been. No, that was the real thing going. This is with ridiculous. Place. No, if I hit that mega like billion dollar lottery, I'm going to buy that show, Friends, and I'm going to destroy it, and no one will <laughs> ever see it again. That'll be what my gift to mankind. Yeah, it'll be gone. She gone. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could. You are going to be on somebody's hit list, Steve. Like that. Ah, it happens. Yeah, it yeah I know they're, they're crazy, Steve. I would be saying that. that. Yeah. Oh, I hate friends. No, once they really take a good look at themselves, they realize that they failed in life, liking friends. Oh my for as God. much as they do. Uh, and you talk about aging well, not that cast. Other than Jennifer Aniston, she's a, yeah. she seems she no, looks she's the same as when she started fine. the damn she's show. Fine. She's fine. <laughs> That Courtney Cox looks like she's uh, made out of plastic now. I don't, I don't uh, know what's Courtney, going on there. Yeah, yeah. it's not yeah. good. Yeah. None of the men aged well. Like Joey no. was cute. What is it, Matthew something? He was Matthew, cute. Uh, uh, LeBlanc. Yeah, LeBlanc. Matt LeBlanc. Yeah, Matt LeBlanc. He's, he did not age well. He just looks yeah. like a fifty-something dad at this point. He was fading quickly at by the end of the run there. So, yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah, so well. it must have been the cocaine. <laughs> it's a cocaine, yeah. Uh, but uh, Jennifer Aniston, and she seems—I mean, she could carry a show. Let's be honest; she's sure. great. And we're the Millers. We no, are the Millers. That was what I was about to oh, say. Tim, that movie's so damn good. She's hilarious. I love, I, every time it's on, I got to flip. But I love that show. She never it's wore history. enough flair either. She didn't wear enough. No, flare. never wore enough flair. Yeah. On that note, it's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? I'll go first. I've got uh, Leopold Brothers American Corn Whiskey. American <laughs> Corn Whiskey here. This is a liter bottle. It's huge. Huge. Solid. Solid. Might be enough. It could be. We'll see. I gotta see that bottle in Darren's hands. That that thing's oh, gotta yeah, look Darren like a 175. <laughs> yeah, Darren. Look like that. Yes. Yeah. I'd be double fisting it. Yeah, wow. All right. Hey, yeah, I don't know if you could have seen that audience. Wow, that was a good <laughs> move. That was, that was a move. Yeah. All right, Dan, what do you got there, man? I also have some Leopold Brothers, uh, I, but I have the three chamber rye whiskey. So Jeez, even if the cork pop doesn't count, I'm still winning tonight. Where so. did you get that? Oh, Ooh. Tim, He's... who's got the lead? Who's got the lead? Shit, I think Darren does. That was damn okay. good. Okay, Fair we have to live with it as wrong as it is. When we throw it to a judge, we have to accept it. All right, uh, Tim, you're next. I, I've got a bottle of a, a little brand called Brothers Bond. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy this one. Uh, slide on the set. Yeah, nothing. nothing. <laughs> slide on the set. Oh, he's, gonna, 
He's going to get a restraining order from Brothers Bond, not to cork pop. Yes, please so. don't yeah, use you can our cork pop our stuff. Yeah, You're yeah don't uh, don't cork pop us, Tim. Uh, thank Poor you. performance. No. Yeah. All right, McDew, your last but not least, what do you got there? I know some babies has. All right, there you go. No, nothing. Uh, Darren wins. Darren wins. Cheers. Cheers to Cheers. McNew for saying baby says right. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. We'll take a quick break. And then when we come back, it's going to be the moment you're waiting for. Our Tim and Ian still buddies. We'll do that in just a few. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. This is Richard Paul from Art of the Spirits. Welcome to the Bourbon Daily. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today is a very important show where we find out if Tim is still friends with Ian. Yes, we are. So, yeah. So, every once in a while, something happens and just a normal person gets to meet a celebrity. And then, uh, yes, and then they get to be friends uh, for a while. But how do, you, how do you maintain that? You're in two different lexicons, two different worlds. And, uh, yes, are you able to very, maintain very that? Very much two different worlds. Yes, <laughs> what what Ian is doing over there at Brothers Bond and his new company that he's got started up there with Nikki, his wife, are really something. Um, I have to tell you, this uh, I there are a lot of people in these celebrity brands that work, and there's a lot of people who really work. Um, mm -hmm. This the, my time I've spent with Ian since since I met him in um, early 2021 uh, through a mutual friend of ours. Uh, connected through a uh, tasting. He said, "You got to meet this guy. This guy's launching this brand," and I knew of Ian from. Uh, the shows he's been on because my wife was a fan. It's some loose fan, I should say, because she's not in all that stuff and fangirling on things. Sure. She's like, oh, wow, him? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, so that relationship has blossomed. It continues to blossom. It blossomed. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we, uh, we keep, we're like two ships passing in the night when he's swinging through town uh, doing bottle signings uh, with his uh, business partner, Paul. Uh, and uh, he, he sent his apologies. He actually was going to try to be on here, but he's in Europe. Right now, in a brother's bond, they just launched in Europe. Yes, and I kid you not, they don't have Zoom in Europe, so they well like, the eight-hour time difference and running uh, around with the kids and business yeah. stuff that he pulls is a little hard. But my my text messaging back and forth tonight, if you can. Oh, yeah, you text him nightly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
him lately. Yeah, we had a pretty good conversation lately, but uh, so he, uh, <laughs> we're, we, for what it's worth, if you are a fan of tasting new things, uh, we are in the process of trying to get him scheduled for one of our flagship whiskey sessions too as well. Uh, to fill in a spot, which would be interesting to see some of the new offerings that they have, uh, but they're not done yet. Uh, the, uh, so as my, my my friendship with Ian is blossoming. We've had multiple Zoom sessions uh, <laughs> since the uh, the breakout session. Uh, oh. He does uh, how McNew is doing. Oh, uh, he's he's like, he's, yeah. no, yes, he remembers yeah. McNew and remembers Justine very okay. much so for uh, uh-huh. helping putting that event. Uh, and if you... If, <laughs> He's, so Ian and, and one of our friends of the program, Fred Minnick, had a nice little conversation uh, interview on Fred's show. Uh, and in like the first two minutes, Ian drops my name and the event that he was on that started that, which is kind of cool. Uh, wow. So cool. it's uh, I, and, and this he did not have to do any of that. This is him truly thanking people. So for what it's worth, yes, the friendship is blossoming. We have yet to meet in person yet. Uh, so at some point in time, that will happen. Uh, and uh, I am working on trying to get the first single barrel for a certain barrel shop too as well if that could happen oh. which may be uh-huh. interesting well there you yeah. go so i love that tim because he's generally he was generally so sweet and like nice when he came on my show and i appreciate you arranging that too like he was just like the most wholesome person and i love that you still talk to him and he's still doing his thing no yeah, he's uh he's really something else uh and uh what i what i'm what i'm impressed with more than anything is just how meticulously he is on you know he said a couple things things what do you think Anything about this, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. He did not have to do that to some, you know, bourbon fan over here. But he's done those steps. He hasn't forgotten the people that have uh, helped him out uh, with launching that brand. And you know, it's not easy when you're a non-distilling producer. It's tough these days. Interest rates going up is not easy, but to still have the the staying power that they've had on that brand, it's uh, it's fun to see. Yeah. That strength offering is very very nice. Uh, that's a nod to all the bourbon drinkers we out there. We just got in the one in, didn't we, Darren? Uh, yeah, uh, the, some the, sort of rye PR company. Yeah, yeah. Rye he did a new rye blend. He blended yeah. a rye himself. We haven't tried it yet. Drinks. It's on the it's on the desk on the to do <laughs> yeah. show. The desk of shame, as gamers yeah. would call it. Like right. when you have board games you haven't played, it, it's the shelf of shame. So it's the desk of shame. The podcast. desk of shame. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done the podcast yet. It's, it's sitting at the at work on the desk. So. It'll happen soon. We just no, been busy. I was, I was We're busy. I was yeah. dying. I was like, dude, if there's any way you can just pop on, I said, I even re- I even asked to rearrange the show just to pop on or something like that. He's like, uh, he wasn't. He wasn't. He, at some point in time, the guy's got to sleep. Yeah, so, got to sleep. Being, being across, even though he's a vampire, he has to sleep. He has to. Sleep. Yeah, he does yeah. have to sleep. So uh, he is impressive but, though, because he is one of those guys really just out there working his tail off, like trying to promote his brand. He is. Brand. He is. He is. I give him credit. Sign, I give him credit. Just sign his name on it and like send it. He's to not. A, uh, he's not he just a bourbon outlet. celebrity uh, owner. Yeah. Type of thing, but uh, yeah. So yeah, he's doing good. He's doing good. Still he's need to get a bourbon show for you too, Steve. So that'll, yeah, that'll I, I, I was trying that because you know his, his his PR company reaches out to me all the time, and I said, well, you should just bring him on. They're like, well, who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> like, like when you started out, we did like the first event he was ever on. They're like, oh yeah, well, okay, that's all f- well and good. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't. And then they're just like, you want to try this? You want to do that? I'm like, eh. so I just I, I quit responding to him. I don't, yeah. like, eh, I don't need it. I believe some I of those people have been turned over as well. Yeah. So there's been care. some there's been some changes, I believe, on the on the corporate side on certain things because people some people just don't get it and spend too much money yeah. uh, on the wrong that things. Happens. So yeah. we'll see. But yeah, I feel like Tim is texting his like, anytime his phone buzzes. He's like, "Oh, is it him? Is, is it, it him? him? It's is like a uh, high school girl with her first crush. Oh, yeah. oh is it him?" You know he's got the alerts on there. Like, like if I text Tim at uh, ten o'clock at night, I, I'm I'm getting the Tim sleeping. You know, uh, don't Do not bother disturb. me. Do not disturb. Him. You know Ian doesn't have that. If, if if his phone dings at three in the morning, Tim's over there. What does he say? Oh, yeah. he's on the emergency contact list. He gets right. he gets automatically through it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It goes it goes right well, through. I think, yeah. Well, I think McNew can attest to this. It's a well, the strategy of using social media to promote a brand. It is amazing how powerful it can be with the right personality. Right. Yeah. I had people coming out of the woodworks, the weirdest people, and they're, they're, and they're all fans from all across the world reaching yes. out. It's just the, I know the email box blew up on things, and then uh, you know my, the DMs. I wish I could show you the DMs. Oh my oh, god, they were all they were, the I DMs. still keep them all because a lot of them went into like your request or your whatever, yes. and I'm just like they were 
so bonkers and they were they were paragraphs it wasn't just like hey i see so and so was on your show or so and so followed you they were just paragraphs of their undying love and adm- admiration it was bonkers things that these people okay. said i can't imagine being somebody on his level yeah, like, I was gonna I say, that I, sounds awful I, to be him McDill, no, all I, right. I would, like, Tim's well, got a cool friend here. That's fine. Tim's got a cool friend. McDill, who's who's the most famous person in your phone? Like, who's someone you could text and they would know who you are? And do you have anybody? You got it. I think I do. Who's the most famous person? The most famous person. I don't know famous people. They don't. Well, what about mm-hmm. somebody famous from the bourbon world? Then anybody from the bourbon world? Yeah, but okay. they're all people you have too, Steve. They're just people we oh, know. I'm just trying to find out. I'm not going to say um, one you've got, I don't think. I don't, I do. So it's not somebody in my phone, but if I wanted okay. to be a race car driver, I have a friend that could make that happen for me. No, that doesn't count. It's not in your no, phone. It's not, not in, in my phone. phone, but I could make that okay. happen. Um, okay. Okay. So uh, Phil talks whiskey, the most famous person in McNew's phone. Yeah. Say. Oh yeah. We can do Phil. Oh, actually, there you go, I mean, there you probably go. Steve Akeley, Steve. You're more famous than you give yourself credit for. <laughs> um, this is super true. famous. You have, super famous. you have all the connections. Super famous. Darren, who's the most famous person in your phone? So, most famous person in my phone is definitely Michael Porter Jr. I don't know if he'll remember me. He's a basketball player for the Nuggets. Oh, okay. We oh. went to Mizzou at the same time. He cool. partied at my house a couple times, oh. and I had his contact information. Whoa. Then I don't know. I ha- I don't reach out to him often. I'm not I wouldn't buddy so. buddy with him. But you but, keep it in there just in case. Yeah, just, just, just in case, case the question just comes to remind up, him you've got pictures. Yeah. You know? This you um, <laughs> this will only be famous in certain circles, but I do have the pedal steel player from Cody Jeeks. I do have that. Do have that one. There you go. The pedal steel player. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Steve, you don't know what that means, but he's. I don't know what it means. I don't know. I don't know who man. Cody Jinx is. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, McNeil, when you get Cody that's, Jinx's number, that's when you've really made it. Yeah, some level of fame, and he's not tied to bourbon. So yeah, yeah. okay. That's cool. I, to me, the the most famous person I have that I can text uh, that would know who I am, uh, Chef Edward Lee. Oh, uh, yeah. Chef Lee, Chef Lee, and that's a cool one. Chef mm-hmm. Lee's awesome, man. Yeah. Oh. I was I put a little post up there about the knife that they the collab he did with uh, uh-huh. Messmeister and, and Maker's Mark. Within about five minutes, he liked that post. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. He was you, you guy caught him right on the couch at the right time, I guess. But, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's pretty good about that, that stuff. stuff yeah. folks, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, like something or comment on something, and everything just explodes. It's amazing. The social power of social media is pretty impressive. I but love that knife. By the love, way. love that stuff. It's cool. Yeah, that knife is so nice, man. It's God, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah I if you were a tonight. Maker's Mark ambassador and missed out on the twenty percent discount to buy that knife, that's an heirloom pass yep. down thing yeah. at twenty percent off. That's awesome. Yeah, I loved it. So yeah. that's cool. That's cool. I used to know uh, Mike Rucker. Uh, I used to book him for a lot of events when I was in the corporate world. He was a all pro football player. Played for the Carolina <laughs> Panthers. And uh, yeah, it was cool. And when he was at the height of his power, you know, he led the league in sacks one year, stuff like that. So yeah, that was, cool. it was a cool. Not easy to do. Yeah, he was a cool dude. Really super nice guy from Missouri too, by the way. So yeah, we had we had that connection. So good dude, good dude. But I still have his number in there, just like Darren, just in case. Just, just, just in, in case. case. I haven't talked to him in fifteen years, but uh, I, I may reach out at some point. It's just so it's still in there. Probably he's probably changed his number, but yeah. yeah. Rekindle the flame. You never know. Kind of like yeah. my uh, my blossoming relationship with Ian. Yeah, it's that's point blossoming. Running. Oh, that's good. I can see him taking it. You guys go out to dinner. You're just staring at him the whole time. <laughs> Yeah. They can't even talk. Just you're like, waiting for like the lady in the tramp move moment. And you're like <laughs> sucking on the like, and he's like, "What the hell is this guy doing?" <laughs> See, look, McDouche, go the look. That's gonna be your face That's right it. there. <laughs> That's your face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some cousin Eddie looking at Wayne Newton in uh, Vegas vacation. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. All right, well, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Darren, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram at The Bourbon Adventures. Tim. You can find me on Instagram at SwyGuy2112 and on YouTube at Our Flagship Whiskey. McNew. I'm on Instagram at McNew ABV. 
All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website, that thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see me, the ABV Barrel Shop, the place where you can try before you buy. Check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. McDo, anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABV network. Great job today, gang. Farnance will have a brand new show for tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. See you, everybody. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing, the ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you're in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.